Yes! Hey guys, salut, this is Alex, and today I'm presenting you with a brand new series in which we will attempt at making the most perfect pizza at home, yes, indoor, with a classic and a limited domestic oven. Promise. Let's be honest, I'm afraid you can't exactly make a perfect or an original pizza in those conditions. Uh, treason. Wait, 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 my promise is still valid. You and me are gonna get as close as possible to a perfect Neapolitan pizza, alright? Yes, I said you and me because I know that you are as tired as I am from those convenient yet disgusting frozen slabs of dough. Ew. And maybe, just maybe, you did try to make your own pizza at home and so you did notice that the result isn't exactly what can be called um, perfect, right? Oh, come on. Let's be honest. I don't want to say it. Let's take a closer look at the classic symptoms. Tiny regular air bubbles in the crust instead of huge and irregular ones. That's a classic. Weak and limp whitish crust. Or on the opposite, thick, crunchy, hard crust. Very expected. Undercooked bottom. Definitely not charred enough. Ah, that's a classic fail. Unreasonable and absolutely not higher welfare standard toppings. Sadly, that's quite common. Well, I know how you feel, but fear no more because I've got you covered. Now, stand up. Come on, with me, stand up. I mean, I respect my part, I'm already standing, so you stand up. I do solemnly swear that I will faithfully attempt at making the most perfect pizza indoors with a classic domestic oven to the best of my abilities. So help me God. Okay, so now you can subscribe to my channel and I can begin. Much better. So, first off, what is an original or a Neapolitan pizza and why the hell would you want to make one? Well, it looks like this. Charred marks, puffed up crispy and chewy crust, soft and delicate center, of course bold and long-lasting flavors of ripe tomatoes, olive oil and depending on the version you choose, mozzarella, basil, oregano and grated cheese. Simply put, it's pizza at its best. Now look who wanna make one. That special pie is supposed to be the origin of pizza as we know it. Historically, it comes from the city of Napoli in Italy, where people are taking it very, very, very seriously. Composition, diameter, thickness, everything about this original pizza has been codified by the Associazione Verace Pizza Napoletana in a PDF document. I'll put the link in the description down below. I've also used lots of other online sources I trust. Clearly, I will consider those documents as reference, guys, and I will try as hard as possible to follow them to the letter. Ah, uh, well, maybe not. You know me, I can't do that. Oven, dough, sauce, toppings, other stuff will leave no stone unturned and will push those things to their own limit. So do expect from me some crazy deliciousness, a bit of science of course, and also some amazing DIY hacks. So in a way, nothing very unexpected. So that's it for this quick introduction. I guess now we just have to make it. In the next episode of this homemade pizza odyssey, we'll face our biggest challenge ever, the oven. So I can't tell you exactly what will be in that episode, but if you're following my Instagram, my Facebook, or my Twitter, then my friend, you might have one clue or two. Okay, so guys, that's it. I hope you are as excited as I am about this new adventure. And if you do, then give it a thumbs up, like it, and share that over on your social media. Also, if you don't want to miss the next episode, then you'd better subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye, salut!